happy Sunday and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. We are playing. Can anyone see what we're playing? What are we playing with you guys? Um, cars. Yeah, we're playing with cars and we're just racing them along the roads. Oh no, it crashed. I got a good team here. Oh, I even got Lightning McQueen. Go! All right, well, we're playing cars because in our story today, we're gonna pretend this is Paul. Something happens to Paul as he's walking along the road. Do you guys have any idea what could have happened to Paul? Maybe car was driving. <laughs> oh no, no, Paul! Just kidding, that's not what happened to Paul. But. You're gonna have to listen really well to find out what happens in our story. So we're gonna keep playing with cars for a little bit and in a minute we have a really fun matching activity that I need your help with and it all ties in to our story about Paul. I'm so excited, are you excited? Say woohoo! <laughs> Judah say woohoo! Oh, well. <laughs> He's not excited yet, but he's gonna get there. All right, yeah, we're gonna get excited. Okay, ready? Now I have a super fun matching game that me and my friends are gonna do together. Are you guys ready to match? Let's see if we can find another happy face. Is that one a happy face? Let's see, flip it over. It's a heart face. So, so far we have found a happy face and a heart face. So let's see if we can find a match to one of those. Pick another one. Maverick, would you like to pick one? That's a sad face. Oh, you're sad. So we'll put that one back and we'll see if we can find a happy face or a heart face. Ooh, that's an angry face. <laughs> see if you can find a happy face. What'd you find? They match. So I'll put those two together and match. Okay, let's see if we can find another heart face. Mm. Mm. That's a sad one. <gasps> There's a heart one, Judah, look. It matches. Can you stack that one there too? <gasps> what is that? Wait, let's see if we can find uh, this match. Angry. Let's see if we can find another angry face. Where's another angry face at? So that means that those two what must match. So what, what are these faces? Can we flip that one? <gasps> They're sad faces. In our story today, we hear about some of the emotions that Paul had. And some of them were sad, some of them were angry, some of them were happy. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. And we're gonna hear we're all gonna about it. Yeah, now we have another activity to do, and then we get to hear a really cool story about Paul. So let's head on to our next activity, and then we're getting closer and closer to our story. Now, we're gonna make dinner. Just kidding. It's morning time. You don't need pasta for breakfast. This is just ridiculous. What we're really gonna do is we're gonna make some funny faces using pasta. Whoa! That's silly. That's so cool, I'm so excited. Okay, so you guys can choose some pastas to use and we're gonna put them on our page and make it look like a face. Judah, can you put them on your paper? And I'm gonna make a silly face too. So I wanna make, I'm gonna make a happy face and then I'm gonna make an angry face. Okay, so there's my eyes for my, let's see. This one I think is going to be my, my happy face. I have a really good idea. Watch these, this. These are my squishy eyes. Those are squishy eyes? Yeah. That's so cool. They're my squishy eyes. He's so happy that he's gonna stick his tongue out. Ow. Oops. There, right, he's sticking his tongue out. And Where here's- Where is he sticking his tongue out? That's his tongue. <laughs> There's his nose, and and, and I need pasta to make them. Okay, and then here's his eyebrows. 
Oh, that's so silly, and he's so happy. Okay, now I'm going to make an angry face, and he is going to be so mad. Watch this. Oh, you want some more? There's his eyes. Here's his nose. Where's his nose? That's his nose. <laughs> Here's his mouth. <laughs> He's a silly, tiny little mouth. And there's his eyebrows. He's so angry. He didn't make it happy enough. He's happy and he's angry. So in our story today, we hear about someone who was angry and then happy. I'm so excited to hear about it. Are you guys excited? Okay, he's still making his faces, but I'm super excited. Now, we're gonna get up and get some wiggles out. We are gonna go and do wiggles in worship. Mommy, and then we're gonna do that thing? Yep. <laughs> so let's head on over to wiggles in worship and have the time of our lives. And then we get to hear our story, so stay tuned. It's a good one. My name is Sarah. Have you been having fun playing I Spy? I hope so, because I want us to play a little Bible I Spy today. We've been talking a lot about God's son, Jesus. We talked about when Jesus was born. Can you pretend to rock a baby like this? Oh, little baby. We talked about how Jesus grew up to help sick people, love everyone, and do amazing things that only he can do. Can you make a heart with your fingers like this? There's my heart. You guys are making some great hearts. Wow. We talked about how Jesus died, but on the third day, the stone was rolled away and Jesus came back. Jesus is alive. Can you pretend to roll a stone away like this? Good job, that was great. I bet you you would have moved that stone. Okay, after Jesus came back, he went to see his friends so they could see that he is alive. They told people, Jesus is alive, and wrote down that Jesus is alive so everyone everywhere could believe that Jesus is alive. But not everyone believed Jesus is alive. One of the people who didn't believe was a man named Paul. Now, this is where I need your help, to spy with your little eye. 
Get your binoculars ready. I spy with my little eye a man holding a big piece of paper wearing a long red vest. Do you see a man holding a big piece of paper wearing a long red vest? Look with me. Oh, there's Paul. Hey, Paul. You got it. This is Paul. Everyone say, hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Paul grew up believing that you had to follow a lot of rules if you loved God. And I mean a lot of rules. Well, one day, Paul heard people say that Jesus taught a brand new rule. Not a lot of rules, just one rule. Jesus' one rule was love each other the way I have loved you. Because Jesus is God's son. People followed him and did what he said. This made Paul very angry. Paul wanted people to follow all of the other rules. He did not want people following Jesus. Do you know what Paul did? He started being mean to people who followed Jesus. Let's see if we can spy Paul with an angry face. Okay, ready? Get your binoculars ready. I spy with my little eye. Paul with an angry face. Do you see Paul with an angry face? Look with me. Oh, there's Paul. He's really angry. He's, he's just sitting there with his scroll like, well, anyways, one day when angry Paul was on his way to be mean to more people who followed Jesus, he saw a bright light. Ah! and he heard someone talk to him. Who do you think was talking to Paul? Yes, it was Jesus. And Jesus asked Paul why he was doing mean things. Then Jesus told Paul to go to a house and wait. After Paul saw the bright light, he couldn't see anything, but he wanted to do what Jesus told him to do. So someone had to help him find the house. Okay, friends, get your binoculars ready. We have a house to find. Where, where is a house? I spy with my little eye a big house. Do you see a big house? Look with me. Oh, here it is. Here's the house. Some of Jesus' friends came to the house to help Paul. They helped Paul because Jesus had taught them the new rule. Love each other the way Jesus loves you. After a few days, Paul could see again. Do you think Paul believed in Jesus now? He sure did. Angry Paul, who was mean to people, became happy Paul, who loved people and believed in Jesus. Get your binoculars ready. Who sees Paul with a happy face? Do you guys see Paul with a happy face? I see Paul and he looks happy. Why does he look so happy? Because he believes in Jesus. Good for you, Paul. That's awesome. I love this story because it teaches us that everyone can believe in Jesus. And when we believe in Jesus, we love people the way Jesus loves us. So tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Louder! Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus! Woo! You sure can. Now let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear God, thank you that everyone can believe in Jesus and thank you that Jesus loves us so much. I hope that you can help us love people the way Jesus loves us. Thank you, God. You're the best. In Jesus' name, amen. That was a great story. And now we have some really great fun things to do. I hope you'll join me. I have a lot of things planned for us, so we better get to work. All right. But before we get to work, Ollie wants to come visit you guys. Everyone give a round of applause for our friend Ollie. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story.
Hey friends, welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy. And my neighbor, Miss Kathy Sue, just gave me a super cool new game to play. These are emoji cards. You have to spy the matches. I spy with my little eye. A happy face. Can you guys make a happy face with me? Wow, I love those smiles. Now, I need to find another happy face. Let's see. I spy with my little eye. Yes, another happy face. Yay, we found a match. Let's try to find another match. Which one should I pick now? This one? Or this one? Hmm. I spy with my little eye. An angry face. Can you guys make an angry face with me? Oh yes, you look very angry. Let's try to find another angry face. I spy with my little eye. A heart-eyed face. This was my favorite because it means love. But it doesn't match with the angry-eyed face. Let's try again. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? What are you up to? Hey, Ollie. We're playing our new emoji card game. It has all the feelings. My favorite one is love. A game of feelings is fun for you. I know someone who went from angry to happy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. I spy with my little eye. <laughs> our friends! Stormy Jane, it's our friends! They're here for a story. Hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Are you ready to play a little Bible story I spy? <laughs> well, great. All month long, we have been talking about our good friend Jesus. Do you see our good friend Jesus? Get out your pretend binoculars and look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye our good friend Jesus. Jesus is God's son, and he came to teach us how to love others and to be our friend forever. Jesus is alive and we can believe in him. But not everyone believes Jesus is alive. One of those people was a man named Paul. Hey, let's find Paul. You ready? I spy with my little eye, Paul. Paul grew up believing that you had to follow a lot of rules if you loved God. I mean, a lot of rules. Paul heard people saying that Jesus was teaching a brand new rule. Not a lot of rules, just one rule. And Jesus' one rule was, love each other the way I love you. Because Jesus is God's son, they followed him and did what he said. Well, this made Paul very angry. Paul wanted people to follow all of the other rules. He did not want people following Jesus. Do you know what Paul did? He started being mean to people who followed Jesus. Let's see if we can find Paul with his mean face. Look with me. I spy with my little eye Paul with a mean face. Then one day when Paul was on his way to be mean to more people for following Jesus, he saw a bright light and heard someone talking to him. Who do you think was talking to Paul? It was Jesus. And Jesus asked Paul why he was doing mean things. Then he told him to go to a house and wait. After Paul saw the bright light, he couldn't see anything, but he did what Jesus told him to do. Someone had to help him find the house. Do you see a house? Look with me. I spy with my little eye, a house. Some of Jesus' friends came to the house to help Paul. They helped Paul because Jesus had taught them the new rule love each other the way Jesus loves you. After a few days, Paul could see again. Do you think Paul believed in Jesus now? <laughs> he sure did. Angry Paul, who was mean to people, 
became happy Paul who loved people and believed in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. And when we believe in Jesus, we love people the way Jesus loves us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. When Paul believed in Jesus, it made his heart brand new. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Paul believed in Jesus, so Paul started loving people the way Jesus loves people. Paul went from angry Paul to happy Paul. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! When I believe in Jesus, I can be happy too. And I can love people the way Jesus loves me. I'm gonna show my friends how much I love them by sharing my game with them. See you next time, bye! All right, now me and Maverick are here to teach you how to shave your face. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're right, we're not. We get to do something super fun with shaving cream. Woo. Ready? Um. Well, our shaving cream is not working out how we expected it to, but that's okay we can still do the activity we were gonna do. So we're gonna spread this around with our hands. And if you're at home, maybe you can borrow some shaving cream and a plate or a desk or a table. I want you to spread it around with your hand and then we could write our names in it. My name is Sarah and his name is Maverick. Whoa, that's so cool. Now we can write Judah's name. Wow. And my name. And we'll do Mavericks again. You know what? Writing in this shaving cream reminds me of our <laughs> memory verse. And our memory verse says, these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. That's so cool. I really like that memory verse, and I really like writing in shaving cream. What does our memory verse say? These are written. So just like we're writing our names. That's so fun. Hi. All right, we have some other really fun things to do. So I'm gonna go wash my yucky hands and come back, and we're gonna do something really cool, all right? All right, I need everyone to look at the ground with me. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, we have a happy face and a sad face and oh, another happy face and another sad face. I stand on that one. Okay, you stand on it. So in our story, we found out that Paul didn't believe in Jesus. That's so sad, right? So sad. So we heard in our story about how Paul didn't believe in Jesus. Mm. That is so sad. But then Paul met Jesus and he believed in him. And look at that. Woo, that's so exciting, right? Look at there's another happy face. And there's another happy face. So when I say the words, Paul didn't believe in Jesus. We're gonna go into the sad face one and make our best sad faces. And when I say that he did believe in Jesus, we're gonna go into our happy win and say, woohoo, Paul! Paul didn't believe in Jesus. Mm, that's so sad, Paul. Paul is even really mean to people because he didn't believe in Jesus. And so 
he was just not very kind. But then, Paul met Jesus and believed in him. So we go to the happy face and we say, woohoo, Paul, yeah! Yeah, Paul, woo! That's so exciting. So, what did we learn from this story? Who can you guys believe in? Jesus! That's why right. I want you to say it with me. I can believe in Jesus. Who can you believe in? Jesus, that's right. I really liked our story today. I thought it was so cool that once Paul believed in Jesus, he wrote everything down that he experienced with Jesus. That's so awesome, right? It reminds us of what? Our memory verse, that it is written, right? So cool that we could go back and read these stories that Paul wrote for us. Aren't we so happy that Paul believed in Jesus? Everyone say, yeah, Paul, woo -hoo! That's awesome. All right, now follow me over to our next fun game to play. And uh, I get to blindfold someone and lead them down a path. That's so cool. All right, come on. <laughs> In our Bible story today, we heard about how Paul was blinded. He was actually blinded, not just with a blindfold. And his friends had to help lead him down the road because he couldn't see anything. We're gonna play a game to kind of recreate that. So I need you to help lead me. I'm gonna blindfold myself and I have a road in front of me. And I'm gonna need you guys to guide me on where I should walk. And I have to trust you because I won't be able to see. And when you hear me say return, I need you to help me back to where we started. Okay, ready? I'm gonna blindfold myself. Woo. See you later. Okay, where, how do I start? Someone help me. Is it over here? Okay, now I need you guys to help lead me. So you guys tell me where to go. Okay, ready? Should I go this way? No, no, okay, okay, I'll go. Go straight, no. right? No, no. Okay. And do I go this way? No. Oh, do I go this way? No. Um, okay. Now, where do I go? Help me. Do I go this way? No. Or this way? Um, I think, I think this way. Um, okay. Help lead me. Now. Um, mm. Oh. Over there. Okay. Now, help me. This way? Okay. This way. And return? Will you guys help me back from where I started? Okay, turn around. And this way, I think I'm remembering, because I trusted you, you helped me get this way. Am I back? I made it back! You guys helped lead me. That was so cool, thank you so much for helping me. So like in our story, there was a bright light, ah, and Paul was blinded. He heard a voice. Who was it? Jesus, that's right. So he heard Jesus, but he was blind. His friends had to help him everywhere, around the house, to his house. He could not see anything. But then, after a few days, his vision was restored, and he started to believe in Jesus. That is amazing, right? So, if Paul can believe in Jesus, we can too. Who can you believe in? Jesus, that's right. I believe in Jesus, who do you believe in? Jesus, that's so exciting. Okay, we have our parachute. Inside of our parachute, we have streamers. When I talk about Paul being happy, it's like a celebration, right? When I talk about him being sad, not really. So when I say Paul was happy, let's lift up the parachute and shake it and have a party. But when I say Paul sad, then we have to stop and show how sad he was. Ready? Okay, Paul's happy! Woo! Okay, ready? Paul's happy! Woo! Yeah! Paul's sad. Paul's happy! Whoa! Woo! And Paul's sad. In our story, we heard about Paul being happy 
and Paul being sad. He was sad when he didn't know Jesus. He didn't believe in Jesus. As soon as he believed in Jesus, he was so happy! Just like our parachute. That is so exciting. So who did Paul believe in? Jesus, that's right. And who can you believe in? Jesus, that's right. I have a really fun activity showing Paul's conversion from angry to happy. Let's go find out how cool it is. Ready, come on. Hi friends, in front of me I have two cups that I made. So cool. On these cups I put stickers of Paul's face. And one, Paul is angry, he's like, mm -mm. that's pretty angry, right? Okay, and then this one, he's happy. He's like, whoa, my name's Paul, and he's just so happy. Okay, and then on the back, I have another sticker that says, I can believe in Jesus, and it says Paul's conversion, Acts 9, 1 through 20. So, this is the verse that I found the story I told today about Paul not believing in Jesus and then believing in Jesus. Pretty good story, right? I liked it. Anyways, Paul went from angry to happy. He didn't believe in Jesus. He was mean to people around him. He was just overall not happy. You know, sometimes we have a bad day. That's how Paul was every day. Ugh, that would be so exhausting to be so angry all the time. But then Paul started believing in Jesus you know, he saw the bright light, he was blind, and then he wasn't blind, so he believed in Jesus, and he was so happy. He felt so much joy having Jesus in his heart. I feel that joy all the time. I love Jesus, and I love believing in Jesus. So watch, we're gonna watch Paul's conversion, and I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna stick this cup inside of this cup, and I'm gonna show you, look, Paul was so angry. He was angry, bitter, mean. He didn't believe in Jesus. Then he believed in Jesus and he was so happy and he was nice to people and he was joyful and he had great days every day. That's what happens when we believe in Jesus, right? Pretty cool. So who do you believe in? Jesus, right? Paul didn't believe in him. He didn't know God and he didn't know if he could believe in Jesus. Then started believing in him and ding, so happy. Well, I really loved that story. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today. I'm really glad we got to hear about Paul going from angry to happy and how Jesus just changed his life. Amazing, right? Well, I will see you guys next Sunday. Be here, ready to hear a great, great story. See you next time.